Hi everyone, I am Subarna Rekha Ghoshal, Software Technical Consulting Engineer at Intel. Today, I would like to introduce you to Intel Advanced Matrix Extension or Intel AMX and learn how easily and effectively we can take advantage of Intel AMX to accelerate deep learning, training and inference using Intel C++ compiler. Intel AMX has been newly introduced as a part of Intel Xeon Mac series CPUs and the fourth generation Intel Scalable Processor. Some of you may also know it by its codename Sapphire Rapids. Intel AMX are extensions to x86 instruction set architecture for microprocessors. The latest One API spec compliant LLVM based compilers like the Intel One API DP C compiler from version 2023.0 and above will be able to take advantage of Intel AMX. These new instructions boost matrix programming on AIML, thus, accelerating training and inference on the CPU. Now we are ready to dive into the real C++ SQL code known as SQL join matrix to see how to use these instructions inside an application. Before switching to the terminal for demo, let us quickly have a look at the code snippet which we will be using for this purpose. This code snippet that you are looking at is publicly available in our LLVM test suite GitHub repository. Looking at the code snippet, we can see that Intel AMX is used through matrix extensions known as join matrix. This executes a matrix multiplication of two VF16 matrices and adds the result to the resultant matrix. In the code, we need to include these namespaces to start with. SQL extension 1 API experimental matrix, SQL extension 1 API bfloat 16. If you are not familiar with SQL's cross architecture compute extensions to C, you can find detailed tutorials and videos on our 1 API pages at software.intel.com. Now let's take a closer look at the SQL joint matrix implementation. For basic understanding, range is the 2D dimension or the i and j loops of the general matrix multiplication gem. Buffers and accessors are used for memory access on the device. Subgroup gives the scope information of matrix compute. By default, this can be viewed as simply scope in plain C++ code. Now, what is unique about AMX assisted matrix multiplication using SQL? The typical syntax of join matrix is as follows. The first argument is the group type. The currently supported group type is subgroup. Then we have the data type. Then we have an argument which defines the role of matrix with respect to a gem operation. The values can be A, B, or accumulator. Then we have the row size, the column size, and an optional argument, which is the layout. In this way, we load the three metrics, sub A, sub B, and sub C. The three main operations done by join metrics are join metrics load, join metrics store, and join metrics MAD or multiplication addition. Join matrix load is used to copy the instruction from the main memory. Here we pass subgroup, the name of the matrix, the base pointer from where the matrix needs to be loaded, and then the stride. We also have a optional argument that is the layout. Next, let's move to join matrix MAD. This is used to perform the multiplication and addition operation. Here we pass the subgroup, the name of the join matrix that we need to perform the operations on, sub A, sub B, and sub C. Now let's move to join matrix store. These operations 
help us to copy the instruction to the main memory. Here we pass subgroup, the name of the join matrix, the base pointer from where we need to copy the join matrix, the stride, and the optional argument that is the layout. Now we have a script for compiling and running our code. In the script, we load the environment and use the ICPX compiler to compile our code. You can see we have used ICPX F SQL to compile our SQL code and we have loaded all the required environment here. Now let's try to compile and run the code. Here we can see it's loading the environment. Now it's compiling the code using our ICPX compiler and then it will run the code and verify the results. So we can see the results have passed after verification. In this script, I have used a ahead of time compilation for our Intel fourth generation Xeon scalable processor, but you can also do a just in time compilation for this. We have the compilation and the running steps as a reference here for you to refer later. If we want to check whether the AMX instructions are indeed used underneath the hood, we can export the following environment variable at the time of compilation. clconfig dump asm equals to true. The .as files will be generated which will have the AMX instruction syntax you see on the slide as well as assembly intrinsics. The assembly intrinsics are load file config, tile load, tile store, and the TDP BF16PS. Using AMX instruction sets is very easy yet efficient way to boost the performance on Tensor hardware. There are different ways of using AMX instructions and one of them will fit with your existing code base. We are looking forward to telling you more about these in the upcoming videos. Get started using the Intel compiler today and please don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions you may have. Thank you for your time. See you soon.